Whether you're on your way to work, slipping into the tub after a long day, or just don't feel like getting off that couch, get comfortable. It's time for the steamy part. Hello there, steamers, and welcome on in. So today's steamy part comes from I Want You to Want Me by Erica Kelly. This is book number two in the five-part rock star romance series, so there's more where this came from. Anyways, who do we got today? First, Derek Valencia. He's bassist of an ascendant band, Blue Fire. Band's been together for a while. The whole squad's got matching tattoos, which is always a good harbinger for long-term success. And they're getting their first taste of the big time. Little problem, some of the band members are uh, having a bit too much fun and threatening the band from hitting it big. So what's the solution? That's Violet Davis. Fix her to the stars, getting them back on the straight and narrow is what she does. She swore she'd never work with rock stars again, though. Let's presume this isn't in the book, but there was a scene where she was offered the job. She turned around and said, why me? And the response was, because you're the best. So what happens? Violet shows up, and uh, the groupies and partying are replaced by quinoa and bowling. Also, she and Derek start getting on like peas and carrots. It's a lot of, you know, HR red flags for any HR professionals listening, but it's great for the story. And after a tense night that sees a bandmate get shipped off to rehab, Violet's uh, passions for Derek and the stress of the job make her get away from the band and go back to her farm. But Derek just can't let her go. And now, for the steamy part. The hair on the back of her neck shot up as a rush of sensation skittered down her spine. Movement out of the corner of her eye at her turning to find a figure striding across the fields. Gaze trained on her, he headed her way. Purposeful, focused, a man on a mission. The closer he got, The tighter her skin grew, the shallower her breathing. He looked... feral. Her impulse was to run. The truck was a couple yards away, keys in the ignition. She didn't want to want this man. But with every stride toward her, her body opened for him. Heat flooded her, and everything feminine in her softened to welcome him. He didn't say a word as he approached. Just bent, scooped her up, and held her tightly to him. His scent flooded her senses. That familiar mix of clean cotton, fresh soap, and Derek. Oh, how she yearned for this man. She wanted to let go, sink into him. Of course she did. Come on. He'd spent last night with Jen. He'd given up on her. Irrational as it was, and it was irrational, she couldn't help feeling the sting of betrayal. He nuzzled her ear. You scared the shit out of me. The dam burst wide open. All her affection for him came pouring out. He truly cared about her. I'm okay. He squeezed harder. When I saw you on the bed, he wasn't trying to hurt me. He was angry because he thinks I've turned you all against him. Ah, Violet. He imbued her name with reverence. My sweet V... His face turned into her neck and he inhaled. I need to breathe you in. I need this. Us. Do you understand? Read my lips. She nodded. Hesitant. He needed Jen the night before. Did it matter if he'd used the other woman? She knew what they had between them. And she also knew how badly her rejection had hurt him. So he'd turn to Jen. Was that so bad? Her heart sank. Yeah, it was. He pulled back, the look on his face, so vulnerable, so wanting. And then he kissed her. Those beautiful, sensuous lips claimed hers, his tongue seeking, urging her to let him in. She wanted this. Her body wanted this. But her mind screamed to push him away. And so she did. She pushed at his shoulders and tore her mouth away. 
God. He looked absolutely crushed. She didn't want to destroy him, but come on. God, Derek. Her voice came out shredded. You were just with Jen. No, no, V. I didn't sleep with her. I didn't even touch her. Relief released the tension in his features. She's not... What? Please tell me your mind, she thought. You. I don't want her. I want you. Only you. He kissed her again. I want you so much. He pressed soft kisses across her cheek, over her forehead and down her nose. Tucking his face into her neck again, he opened his mouth over a sensitive spot, then licked. I fucked up last night. I never should have called her. I was out of my mind. Wanting you, but not being able to have you. But it's my fault. It's all on me. I was so fucking selfish pushing you into something you didn't want. But even after, I called Jen. I knew it wouldn't work, and I told her. I apologized. Because you're mine, and no one else will do. She had a choice right then. She could... Oh, who was she kidding? She had no choice. She wanted him just as desperately. Derek, she sighed, as her mouth opened and their tongues met. In a burst of sensation, it kick-started the heart. She'd neglected for so, so long. She felt the surge of energy in his body as he tightened around her. And she let herself go. Just let herself fall into him. Into them. Oh, fuck, V. One hand slid down her back to grip her ass. Oh, fuck. He kissed her under the hot sun. His hunger undid her, popped all the bindings from her heart, and she sank into him. Lowering her to the soft earth, his big, hard body came down on top of her. He cupped her chin to bring her mouth back to his as his tongue stroked inside, a knee pushing between her thighs. Wait. She saw the desolation on his features, but she just reached for the quilt, started to drag it over. Oh, thank Christ. He lifted off her and flicked it open. They watched it billow to the ground. She scrambled onto it, laughing as she threw off her t-shirt and unbuttoned her shorts. She could have him right here in the middle of her wildflowers. Then every time she came out here, she'd get that rush, that tightening, that glorious memory of when she'd let herself go, gave herself completely to this dazzling man. He reached behind her back and unclasped her bra. Peeling it off and tossing it aside, he cupped her breasts. You are so beautiful, V. His mouth covered her nipple and the outrageous sensual heat made her body rise into his touch. His tongue licked so gently. Heat poured through her, melting her. She grabbed the back of his head, holding him in place. I've never wanted anybody the way I want you. His thumb flicked over her nipple, and he moved down her stomach, pressing open mouth kisses over her heated skin. Tugging off her underpants, he tossed them. One finger delved between her folds, and he moaned, eyes closing. His hips thrust, his erection pressing into her hip. Sensation rode through her, so hard, so heady. She didn't know what to do with herself. The faintest ocean breeze fluttered across the flowers, offering a hint of cool on her blazing hot skin. Her fingers sifted through his silky hair. She could hardly believe Derek Valencia had come for her was here, loving her like she was a feast. His kisses sucked at her skin, each one placed hungrily, confessing his insatiable need. The slide of his finger along her slick length made her bones turn liquid, desire streaming through her. When his finger circled her clit, the crack of pleasure hit with such intensity, nothing had ever felt so good. Fuck V, look at you. He shifted down between her legs, his shoulders nudging them apart. And then his tongue was on her, 
swirling deliciously around her sensitive nub. Her body turned hot, electric. He loved her so ardently she wanted to cry. No one had ever wanted her this badly, ever. No, no, that wasn't it at all. That wasn't what had her in such a state. It was her. She never wanted anyone so badly, so wildly. Her body just opened for him in every way. He was pure, clean water pouring into her every crevice and crack, filling every hidden part of her. Tension quickened, tightened, flicking a thumb back and forth over her nipple, and when he gently pinched it, her hips shot up. Desire burst deep within, setting off electrical explosions. She didn't think she could take it anymore. It was too intense. She needed to crest to break. But it didn't end. All her senses engaged, and she felt everything. The lusty caress of his hand on her breast, the swirling lick of his tongue on her clit, the soft, frantic brush of his hair on her inner thighs. Every muscle in her body seized, the circuits in her mind shorted out as she finally hit the peak and went soaring off the edge. Derek, she cried, holding his head tightly against her, rocking her hips, riding out the most intense orgasm of her life. And when she came back into her body, the after effects continued to pulse and spark through her veins. She blinked against the sunlight streaking through the limbs overhead. Oh, God, that was delicious. He kissed her inner thigh, then came back up to her and kissed her mouth. She lifted his t-shirt and he reached behind his neck and yanked it off. Then he shrugged off his jeans, reaching into a pocket to pull out his wallet. He fished out a condom and tossed the wallet aside. Just as he tore the packet open, she took the condom from him, rising. Let me. A new rush of desire hit her hard, making her hands tremble. You don't know how badly I've wanted to see you, touch you. Just the feel of him, insanely hard and throbbing, it gave her a hunger unlike anything she'd ever felt. Everything about this man was strong, was powerful. He was intensely, uncompromisingly masculine. And she loved it. She had to taste him, so she lowered her mouth and licked him all around the head. He hissed out of breath as her hands slid around to the back of his powerful thighs and drew him closer, her tongue and lips coasting all along his smooth, hard length. As soon as she got him nice and wet, she sucked him all the way to the back of her throat. Fuck, V, Jesus. His hands clamped around her head and his hips thrust, sending him deeper. Sorry, shit. Sorry. She shook her head. She loved it. Loved how she excited him. Her tongue traced the vein underneath, then circled the head. She sucked him hard, lodging him deeper into her throat, and he shouted. Fuck. He pulled out, snatched the condom from her, and then eased her onto her back. Clasping her hand in his, he brought it over her head as he stretched out over her his erection gently prodding at her opening, slipping between her folds and sliding deliciously along her length. As if she wasn't ready enough for him, she moaned, hips undulating as she reached for his bottom, grasped him, and pulled him tightly against her. The moment he thrust inside, he let out the sexiest sigh she'd ever heard. Like he'd finally made it home, and she was it. Happiness crashed over her. The intimacy with this man, it just overwhelmed her. And speaking of overwhelm... I'm not gonna last, V. His head reared back. Oh, fuck, I'm not gonna last. She wanted the moment to last forever. The clear blue sky, the sweet scent of her wildflowers, the desperate thrust of his powerful hips. But she couldn't hold back the momentum. A barreling rush of desire? Something he did with his hips. The way he snapped them at just the right moment, making his pelvis scrape over her clit, lighting her up. 
He did it faster and faster, ratcheting her arousal so high and tight she couldn't breathe. She couldn't think. Her neck arched as her fingers fisted in the soft cotton blanket, and then her orgasm hit, and it held her in its relentless, euphoric grip. She pulled her hand out of his, and her arms came up around his back, her fingers digging into his skin. She kneaded him close, closer, as her feet braced on the ground, and her hips rocked up hard, meeting his slamming thrusts. He buried his face in her neck. Filed, oh fuck. And then he surged into her, clamping his hands on her hips to hold her in place as he pounded into her. Losing his rhythm, their bodies slick and hot. He cried out with his release. His grip loosened, his thrusts slowly turned languid. Easing out of her, he rolled onto his back, finding her hand, clasping it tightly in his. His other arm rested over his forehead, and he turned to look at her. I don't know what the hell that was, but, uh, can we do it again? She turned too, holding on to his powerful bicep. Yeah, she breathed. She just felt so good, so relaxed, so perfectly content. He exhaled roughly, squeezed her hand. Are we good? Oh, her skin went from cooling down to chill. So for those taking notes out there, don't ask, we good, after a roll around in the wildflowers. All right, hopefully they patch that up and the band gets back on track. You can find that out by reading I Want You to Want Me, book number two in the Rockstar Romance series from Eric Kelly. Thanks to everyone listening in. We will have a lot more content coming soon. In the meantime, don't get off that couch unless it's to wash your hands. Have a good one.